material selection decision for component that are exposed to elevated or sub-ambient temperature or temperature changes and thermal gradient require the design engineer to have an understanding of the thermal response of material as well as access to the thermal properties of a wide variety of material. By thermal property, it means that the response of a material to the application of heat, a solid absorbed energy in the form of heat, its temperature rises and its dimension increase. The energy must be transported to cooler region of the specimen if the temperature gradient exists, and ultimately the specimen may melt. Heat capacity, thermal expansion, and thermal conductivity are properties that are often critical in the practical utilization of solids. Thermal energy is the energy needed to raise the temperature of an object depends on the mass and composition of the object. The heat capacity measures the combined effect of mass and composition. The specific heat or specific heat capacity is property of the composition only. An object's temperature is a measure of the random molecular motion. Individual atoms and molecules are never still. A solid material, when heated, experiences an increase in temperature, signifying that some energy has been absorbed. Heat capacity is a property that indicative of material's ability to absorb heat from the external surrounding. It represents the amount of energy required to produce a unit temperature rise. In mathematical terms, the heat capacity C is expressed as dQ over dt, where dQ is the energy required to produce a delta T change. There are two ways to measure heat capacity. You can measure it as constant pressure or at a constant volume. Ordinarily, heat capacity is specified per mole of material, for example, joule per mole Kelvin or BTU per pound mole Fahrenheit. In most solid, the principal mode of thermal energy assimilation is by the increase of vibrational energy of the atoms. Again, atoms in solid are constantly vibrating at very high frequencies and with relatively small amplitudes. Rather than being independent of one another, the vibration of adjacent atoms are coupled by virtue of the atomic bonding. These vibrations are coordinated in such a way that traveling lattice waves are produced, a phenomenon represented in this figure. The atoms and ions that are bonded together with considerable interatomic force are not motionless. Due to the consistent vibration movement, they are permanently deviating from the equilibrium position. So the atomic vibration in the form of lattice uh, waves are called phonons. The variation of temperature of the vibrational contribution to the heat capacity at constant volume uh, for many relatively simple crystalline solids as shown in this figure. So basically the heat capacity is uh, dependent with temperature. It will increase with the increase of temperature. Okay. From this figure we can see the value of CV is zero. temperature equal to zero but it rises rapidly with the temperature this correspond to an increase of ability of the lattice wave to enhance the average energy with the ascending temperature at low temperature the relationship between the uh, the solid temperature is uh, given by uh, c is cv equal to a times t to the power of three Above what is called the day-by temperature, above the day-by temperature, 
the CV levels off and become essentially independent of temperature at the value of approximately 3R where R is actually the biggest constant. This table shows some comparison of a specific heat of materials. We can see uh, polymers have a quite higher CP at room temperature compared to, to the uh, metals. So basically more energy is required to increase the temperature of polymer compared to, to, the, to the metals. And this table shows some of the thermal properties of barium material. We can see a CP value, uh, thermal conductivity of different materials. The thermal conduction is a phenomenon in which the heat being transported from high temperature region to low temperature regions. The property that characterizes these uh, heat transportations is the is called thermal conductivity. It is best defined in terms of uh, and uh, equations. Okay, Q Q dot uh, the heat transfer rate is equal to minus K dT over dx. X is the the length, the thickness. And dt is a, the change of temperature. So we can relate the value of thermal conductivity with electrical conductivity using Lorentz constant. By defining Lorentz constant as equal to my k over sigma t. A sigma is a electrical conductivity. Most solid expand upon heating and this property are called a thermal expansion of solid okay so basically the question is how the temperature can affect the dimension of the metals okay can you give an example where you have to consider the change in dimension of system when you are heated or when you heat add uh, when heat is added or extracted yeah, there are a lot of huh? Look at this example. Imagine you have a iron disc with a hole in it is heated. What will happen to this disc? Will the diameter of the hole increase or decrease or not change? So basically, when you heat up this disc, the diameter of the disc will increase. So that's all for this topic.